Hey guys, so today is our final day, and I'm going to have to cram a lot in this day because we are out tomorrow. So I'm going to finish our story about Hannah and Samuel, okay? All right, and so this is going to come from 1 Samuel 1 through uh, all the way to chapter 2, Indian verses 21. All right, so remember we talked about how there was a lady named Hannah who wanted a baby. She loved God, and so she started to pray. Her and her husband would go and visit the temple every year, and Hannah really began to ask the Lord for a baby. She prayed and said, Lord, if you will give me a son, I will give him back to you so that he can serve in your church, in your temple. And so Eli the priest saw her praying one day and asked her, what is wrong? And she said, I'm a woman of great, great sorrow. I'm so sad. Eli said, let whatever it is that you're asking for be done, sister. Go home and just believe God. And so God heard, she did. She went home and God heard her prayer. A year later, Hannah and her husband had a special son named Samuel. Hannah had made a promise, though. She promised that she would give her son back to God. And so when Samuel was a little older, Hannah took him back to Eli. Hannah left him at the temple so that he could work for the Lord. Oh, goodness, I bet that was so hard for her to leave her baby. After Hannah left Samuel, she went back home and had five more children. Isn't that amazing that the Lord completely honored what she was doing? So let's talk about Samuel when he grew up. So first Samuel, or as he was growing up, first Samuel 2, 18 through 21, and then verse uh, chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Hannah couldn't have a baby. She prayed and God gave her Samuel, remember? And she had made that promise and she took him to the priest. And so as he was at the temple working for Eli, every year Hannah would come back to the temple and bring him a coat. Samuel began to quickly serve the Lord and to serve Eli, but Samuel didn't really know God for himself. In that day, God would speak directly to people and only select people because most people did not listen to God. Eli was starting to get very old, and Samuel was now becoming a strong young man. Soon it would be his time to lead in, um, in working in the temple. And so one night it was time to go to bed. Eli went to his room, and Samuel went to his. Right as Samuel started to fall asleep, he heard someone call his name, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel came into Eli's room and said, yes, do you need me? You called my name. Eli did not know what he was talking about and sent him back to his bed. Samuel heard his name called two more times. He ran to Eli and again, it wasn't him. The third time he, it happened, he ran back to Eli and Eli finally told him, stop waking me up. Maybe God is talking to you and you need to talk back. And so this time, when he heard the voice, he answered, Uh, speak, Lord, I I'm listening. And then the Lord gave him a very powerful message. And Samuel grew up to be a very powerful and righteous prophet of the Lord. So what a powerful story about how faithful God is and how he promised something to Hannah and how Hannah was obedient to God and how God um, gave her Samuel and she, um, gave God Samuel back and God used Samuel. He used him mightily. All right. Bye guys.